Hi, I'm Bill Santamar of Hospitals and Health Networks Magazine. I'm here with my colleague, Matthew Weinstock. And Matthew, we're going to talk about the July issue that's about to hit the stands. Right. And every July, our cover story is about our most wired survey, which right. is hospitals and how they're doing with um, information technology. Right, and so we, you know, that survey is in its 13th year, and we cover a variety of things in information technology, both clinical health IT and infrastructure and your back office information systems. And this year, at least on the clinical front, we found some pretty significant findings. One was real steady progress that hospitals are making in uh, things such as CPOE and medication safety. Um, some standout things in the survey were digital imaging and mm. transcription services being entered right into the electronic medical record, um, particularly at most wired hospitals, which is you know, going to really aid uh, clinical safety and quality improvement areas. Uh, the survey this year was also retooled slightly to include stage one meaningful use criteria. And there we're finding that hospitals really have kind of a long way to go, especially on data collection, um, both demographic information of patients and core measure information that CMS wants. Okay. Um, the other area I think that was interesting is on the infrastructure side is that the most wired hospitals are much further along in terms of their ability to recover data uh, in the event of a shutdown or a disaster than other hospitals mm -hmm. within you know 24 hours. Okay, and, and as then, usual, I'm sorry. No, as sorry. usual, the survey includes um, a list of the most wired. Correct. We have uh, more than 150 most wired hospitals. We have a list on small and rural hospitals, a list on the most improved. And then after a couple year hiatus, we brought back the uh, Innovator Award, which is hospitals that are doing things that are really, really interesting with uh, information technology. Uh, and this year we had more than 500 respondents, which is represents more than 1,500 hospitals taking Impressive. the survey. So it was good. So every year it's growing. Yep. And then also in this issue, we have a, a pretty good story about the developments of patient safety initiatives right. across the country. Um, well, I mean, it talks about a lot of um, a confluence of initiatives, even on the national level, um, to encourage patient safety, sometimes broadly, sometimes specific areas, including the uh, billion dollar one from HHS um, called the Partnership for Patients. And we learn about what um, <clears throat> hospitals are doing to address patient safety. Um, they're doing a, a whole variety of things, like they're concentrating on transitions and readmissions. Right. Um, they're getting uh, partnering with doctors more because they realize that's what it takes. And they're also um, doing things like, well, there's one hospital, for instance, that has monthly meetings with nurses and other staffers that come in who have um, either caught a near miss or they've got a good idea for improving patient safety. Mm -hmm. So they get recognized. And then that same hospital um, executive comp compensation is tied to f safety goals. Right. So hospitals are getting on board with that topic. Um, another feature we have in the magazine is uh, Circle of Life, which is an award that the AHA gives. And it recognizes hospitals are doing uh, innovative things when it comes to end of life care or uh, palliative care. Right, and that, that's an award that, that the AHA hands out every year at, at our Health Forum AHA right. Health Leadership Summit, which is uh, coming up actually next week, July 17th to 19th. And, and you'll be there. I'll be there along with other colleagues from h and and we'll be actually doing some live video on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday uh, from the summit, which will be great. And one of those will feature an interview with uh, Atul Gawande, wow. who's one of our keynote speakers. So hopefully people will Big tune in for that. Big name in the field. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Thank you.